look. Because I was wearing the onesie. I look like the wild woman of Borneo. Um, Don't we get in here, by the way? I suddenly was a onesie. Well, that's lucky. I was just upstairs editing starting to download the footage for the vlogs and um, I wanted to see what my last vlog was and uh, the last uploaded vlog was uh, uh, the, the Christmas ball ball haul but the one prior to that was me last Tuesday so a week ago today and I'm saying oh look here the bin men are outside playing music they're getting ready for their tip next week and I was like oh it's Tuesday it's bin man day they'll be wanting their tip I mean, I don't know if anyone ever tips um, bin men anymore. We still do. We still uh, tip the bin man and the postman. And I even tip the Hermes man because we've got a really good Hermes man. Um, so I quickly ran and got the cards. Um, I guess I'm not going to be tipping the postman today because I didn't have enough. I don't know, I'm not going to say how much I tip, but... I don't like putting coins in there, let's just say that. And um, so I've got enough to do. The recycling team, they come today, and the bin men, they come today. So at least they're ready for when they come. Um, what's the time now? The time is just coming up to 10 past six. So they shouldn't be here that early. They usually come about eight o'clock in the morning. On tip day, they usually come a bit later because they're sort of making a lot of noise and knocking on people's doors and giving them the leaflets for the dates of the recycling for next week, you know, next year, so. Right, and I don't know who else. If you tip the bin men and the postman at Christmas, gratuity, can you let me know in the comments? Because I'm not sure everyone still does, but my mum did, my nan did, I do. I don't know. Just let me know. Anyway, I'm going to go carry on with my editing and leave these by the door so I remember. Don't look at me, don't look at me. I'm still in my pajamas. Or onesie. <laughs> and I haven't washed my hair. Sorry. Anyway, just quickly, I've edited two vlogs. I've cleared down my computer. I have fought with my printer. It's now 11 o'clock. So my printer decided it didn't want to work anymore. Hey ho. I'm done. I've just made myself a cup of tea. It's just brewing. I'm going to put that work computer away for good, well, this year. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to write. Ooh, let's just turn you up. I'm going to write my Christmas cards. And we're beyond the last posting day, obviously. The last posting date was yes, but guaranteed. But I always send later than. Should take one working day, it's longer over Christmas. In theory, I want to get them tomorrow. Anyone who's watching this, and I'm sending a card to, that includes you, Sandy. Um, Nikki, yours has already gone because I put it in your box. So, there's an ambulance outside. Basically, I just heard an ambulance, and it's just up the road. Like, about ten doors down, there's an ambulance parked outside. Which is something, some, something's happened up there. Actually, there's... Two quick responses in an ambulance, so anyway, try not to worry about it. Hopefully it's no one, hopefully it's nothing bad. And I'm going to do cards. Gotta go and put some Christmas music on. 
So you're probably wondering why I use a fountain pen. Well, it's to help me slow down um, and actually be more mindful of what I'm doing, more mindful of the writing process. And you can just grab a biro and you can just go blah blah blah. blah. But to sit down with a fountain pen, you've got to do it more carefully. You've got to do, you've got to be more considered. You've got to make it more of a mindful activity. And I'm trying to slow down and become more mindful of things. Send Christmas cards. Twenty-six pounds. Now these are the big balls. Big balls. The big dangles, which obviously are not going to go with the reds if we're not going to use those. But I was thinking some of them we might still use in there, might we? I don't know. Not one with the ology. We're definitely not using those. What the big balls? Big table there now. So, right. we, so we might use those. This is, oh wait a minute, I have to catch this on video, the great unveiling of Matt. Every year for the last 20 years. And I can't believe the battery still works in it. Can you? No. I bet, I bet this is the year that it's gone. Okay, okay. Look at the state of it. All the foam coming out of it. Do you think the battery's still going to work? I bought this when we lived at the flat. That's about 20 years ago. It still works! Let's go and put it in its rightful place. Right, where is it? Where is it? That is, it looks crap, right? So what we do, is we turn it off for a minute because it's doing me in. Out the way, like stuff. Oh, my doormat's got a split in it. We'll have to get a new one in the new year. We put it under. And now, when anyone comes in, we just, where's that WD-40 while we're at it? Bomb Homs Bungie. That's what it says on the box. <laughs> yes. Why does it say Bomb Home on the box? Alright, important, special. Where did they usually go? They usually go up there. Oh no, they usually go up there. Oh, they usually go up there. Got it all different now, isn't it? It's a Christmas emergency, 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 dead bulb. Now, we have the dilemma. Do we attempt to replace the bulb or do we just hide it and pretend that no one will notice? Dead bulb dilemma, the emergency of Christmas. We're gonna have a party tonight. 
Nah.